This is a good question. Let me just ask what brand resistance bands. Um, I have these, they're made by Skills, S-K-L-Z. Okay. We, have, we have a couple of those. I have the beach body resistant loops because they are, um, and they're like nine inch diameter. These are six and nine inch diameter. And I like both of them. I really like the resistance of the beach body ones. Um, bands? No, we don't need bands, but I'm just gonna show them. We need weights. So, um, and then what was the other ones I have from the studio? I have the same bands that we have at the studio and I'll have to look up the name of them, but those ones are really good also. Yes, yes. And later on, if it comes to you, you can drop that in the chat too, but yeah, with an S, Synergy. Those ones are really durable. The skills ones, the resistance is a lot. And the beach body ones, maybe it's because I've worked out with them the most, but they, they are like the middle ground of like holding their resistance as they age, <laughs> if that makes sense. So that's what I use. All right, so today I am gonna be using seven and a half, ten, and I have a lot of weights. You don't have to do the same as me. Um, hi, <gasps> Zena. Okay, sorry, I got really excited. Our friend who's joining us on Facebook. Um, I'm gonna use seven and a half, 10, 12, 17 and a half, and 35, because I have all of them. You could do this whole workout with 10s, or you could do this whole workout with a resistance loop instead of any weights if you wanted to, or weights and light resistance, or any mesh. So keep whatever you have near you, and then I'll cue you through where the options are to get harder or easier. In any athletic endeavor, in any training endeavor, I should say, you have the option to modify a few things to make it harder or easier. These are the things. Time under tension or how long you're doing the exercise. Today, each of our movements are gonna be 50 seconds with a 10 second rest. You can change that if you need a break, take time out of tension or take a break, and that will make it less difficult. You can modify the amount of weight you're holding or resistance that you're pushing, right? So that means with the weight, add the band, take the band off, use the band, not the weight. Modifying that is gonna change how intense that exercise is. Your balance or your points of contact on the ground, that will change. So we're gonna do um, a curtsy and a press. Well, if in that curtsy, when you are on one foot and you're holding one weight, if you're too unstable, then change it to a squat and a press. You see how we just change a couple things and we can all of a sudden make things a lot harder. You could also, if you only had threes, Libby, you can engage those inner thighs, hold the curtsy and hop and press. You know what I mean? So you've got like as much imagination as you have is like the, um, what? You get what I'm saying. You have a whole rainbow of options. It's all dependent on your imagination, but stay safe. Okay, when I'm looking here, I'm looking at Zoom. When I'm looking here, I'm looking at Facebook. Montel is behind me. Uh, we're both a little sore, <laughs> just heads up. So we're gonna do our absolute best and let's start our warm up. It's mostly weight, not a ton of cardio. So get a nice wide base underneath you, wherever you are in your space, and just start to plant those feet, like I said, outside the shoulder. And start to shift the hip left to right. And I want you to get used to this stance where your feet are outside of your shoulders fairly quickly because we're gonna use it here in just a moment, okay? So back and forth you go. I'm gonna change the angle of Facebook. Zoom, you're doing great, but Facebook is running out of space. You won't be able to see everything we do if I don't move you. It's forever a shifting. Uh, okay, now step, turn those toes in toward the front like you were gonna go into Pasarita and narrow the feet just a little bit, there we go, and you're in a wide squat. So you're gonna shoot that butt way back, use your arms like a counterbalance, sit as low as you can go, keep the spine at the same angle as your shin. I don't know if you've heard that before as a cue for a squat, but if you were to look in a mirror, your spine and your shin should be in very similar, if not the exact same angle. That is also how you keep your toe, your knees, sorry, from passing your toes, hold low here hands to the midpoint, your feet can turn out a little bit more and you can just rock through like that malasana squat. Trust me, you're gonna really want to open up these inner thighs. Trust me, you're gonna want this range of motion before you add the weight to what we're about to do. Now put those hands down and walk back to a wide-legged push-up. Here we are, guys, in a wide-legged push-up. Now just tap the right hand to the left shoulder and the left hand to the right shoulder and get used to being off balance with one hand on the ground. So that's three points of contact, right? Three points of contact instead of four. So it should feel less stable. The benefit of that is that you get to work your core. Anytime your base of stability changes to take one piece of something off, your core kicks in a lot more. Hold here, walk those feet to touch, walk the hands under the shoulders. 
Eyeball of the elbow spins forward, chaturanga push-up, tricep push-up, down you go. Up and down for eight and seven, tricep push-ups. Five, four, three, two, hang in there, one. Good, push through up dog. Come on, open that heart, open the shoulder blades, open the belly, open everything. Put the knees down, come to tabletop. Rock the hips left and right, left and right. Like I said, this is not super cardio-y, but it's a lot of weight. So hold the hips where they are. Now rock through the shoulders. The back side of your deltoids should start to stretch. A big inhale stretches you from the inside out. If you want another um, tripod, I have them. Still work. Okay. Press those toes into the ground. Pike the hips up, down dog. Here you are. Big inhale into the posterior chain. And then pedal out the feet but stay long enough on each side to feel a change. I tell you guys that every time. Let the hamstring and the calf open and lengthen a little bit before you change. So maybe it's the beat like this. Bend, two, three, four, switch, bend, two, three, right? So pedal slowly. There is no rush, you are in no race. Shift back forward to your plank, and then inhale side plank, the left hand or whichever hand you need comes nice and high. Stack your feet if you can. That took away one point of contact, didn't it? So if it's unstable, put that foot back. We're going for hip dips, down and up. Just four more, three more, two more, one more right away, let's go the other way. You're gonna see my bum bum. Here we go, I'm gonna stack my feet down. Four, three, two, one. Back to your push up and just shoot those hip back like last week we did that piston and pop up into malasana, your wide-legged squat like a frog. Inhale, big breath all the way nice and high. And just from here, we're just gonna start to twist it out side to side. Good morning, spine. Big breaths, right? So we pin it when we twist in order to keep lumbar and thoracic safe. That's a nice bright shirt. For the last couple, just move the body. You don't have to look like Billy Blanks or any kind of fighter that you know for real. Just move the body, <laughs> it's totally fine. <coughs> Now, <coughs> excuse me. We're gonna get started here in just one minute. So have some jumping jacks to get the heart rate up and start to leave the ground. Just some jumping jacks, let's go. We get started full on, hit, we redline it, we go, we do all that we can do while we're doing it, and then we take our rest. Again, I'm gonna tell you there are six blocks. There are four or three movements per block. We go through each block two times. It's 40 minutes total. Hang in there. You're gonna shake, you're gonna quiver. Keep going with those jumping jacks, I see you. Lori, take that thing off. I wanna see your face, girl. We got five, four, kick your butt for the last couple. Just kick and shake. Three, two, and one. Good, I just want you to hold a chair while you listen. That's it. I'm gonna talk you through the motions. You're gonna just hold a chair. And then if it starts to feel good, you can move your arms while I talk. But this is a hold. It's a static hold to get you warm, okay? Now listen, block one, we have a squat, lunge, drive. Don't move, just listen. It's gonna look like this. Squat, same leg, right leg lunges back. Then we drive through. And then we just keep working through it. So you should not be moving unless you just want to mimic my motions. You should be holding still, right? Okay, that's what the squat, lunge, drive looks like. You can hold weights to make it harder. The next thing we're gonna do is the four by, four kicks, four lifts. You guys know that. The next one is the squat on the other side, okay? That is block one. I'll explain block two when we get there. Are you ready? Push nice and tall, stand into releve. Go get your weight if you want it. If not, let this be cardio rich. You don't have to have weights for this first one. I'm gonna hold one seven and a half, okay? Here we go, we start in five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Squat, lunge, drive, squat, lunge, drive, squat, lunge, drive. It's 50 minutes. Push that shin backward. Said differently, push the hip points backward. Said differently, shins in line, same angle as your spine. Now listen, when you twist, twist into that twist, yeah? When you drive, here, twist into that. Good, squat, lunge, twist in, keep going, keep going. Let me look at my zoomers. Yeah? Yeah? Oh, I like that, Libby. I like how you're holding the weight. Casey, make sure that weight stays nice and high up by your chest. Three, two, one. Big breath, big breath. Rest. Rest for 10 seconds. 
four by four. We've got, we start in five, four, three, two, one, four high knees, four butt kickers, four high knees, four butt kickers, four high knees, four butt kickers. Go, go, go. Four high knees. I see you down here on the floor. You keep going too. We've got a third camera in the house. Who's on what? Four high knees, four butt kickers. Come on, Lori. You're halfway there. You're halfway there. This is where Zuri, <laughs> I know I see that you're here. Yeah, Zena, this is where the cardio comes in, sister. And if you forgot, if you brought the wrong bra, you can hold down the ladies. It's okay, I get it. 10 seconds to go. Can you move faster? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Last three, two, and one. Good, breath. Breath, grab your weight, whatever you had. Squat, lunge, drive on the other side. Three, two, one, go. Squat. We are not messing around today, you guys. We don't have the time. We gotta get in and get it done, yeah? Good work. Okay, let me stop looking at other people and get my thing done. Ha. Squat, lunge, drive, twist now. As you drive, twist, transverse abdominus brings the elbow toward the knee. Squat, lunge, twist, squat, lunge, twist. So you should be on the opposite leg than you started. Or you're gonna be walking in circles, funny, all day. Now we go through this whole thing again. So you know you're not done, okay? Keep the weight in your hand. Huh. 10. Shh. Huh. Three, two, one. Good, shake it out. Shake it out. Stop, breathe, shake it out. We go back, squat, lunge, drive on the other side. Ready, three, two, one. Why are we back to the other side? Because we go through each block twice. This is the top of the second part of block one, okay? Round two, exercise one, block one. That's where we are. Yes, make it dynamic, jump, jump. Yeah, I like that idea. I'm going with TZ. Watch. Ha, yep. Right? So, twist, oh, squat. Oh. Yep. Lunge. Twist, squat. Lunge. Lunge. Twist, squat. Lunge. Twist. Good work. Go, go, go. Remember, time in the air versus time on the ground. How dynamic you make this. How much work you put in. Three, two, one. Stop. Breath, if you have weights, put them down. If you have weights, put them down. Four by four in three, two, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Ha, hoo, he, ha. Keep going, listen up. Have you reached that point in your house yet? where you just wanna take the walls off of the house, where you're just like done with walls and, and windows and drapes and beds and each other. Have you gotten there yet? Run it out right now. <laughs> Cause guess what sister? Guess what brother? You don't have a choice. <laughs> We're in this together. We gotta get our stuff back together. So let's let the bad energy out now. Three, two, one. Ha, big breath. Pick up your weight. Let's go to the side. Pick up your weight. We go in five, four, three, two, go. Squat, lunge, twist. Now you saw Montel and I take it dynamic. I did not have the weight when I was jumping. That's safest, but I've been doing this a very long time in my life. I'm gonna show you how to maximize this by holding the weight and making it dynamic, or plyometric. I'm gonna say the wrong word, y'all, sorry. Plyometric, looks like this. Oh, God, keep going, that's hard. Here, you wanna try? Nope. <laughs> know your limits. Do not try to impress your neighbors. Five, come on, four. Three, ply out if you can. Two, one, you are done with block one. 
Take your breath. Listen, you get 30 seconds. Block two is gonna look like this. On the ground, it'll be the glute press. So the weight comes behind the knee. We push straight up. Then we do that on the other side. Then the side lunge rock looks like this. In a side lunge rocking. We have five. Get your weight, get on your hands and knees. Four. Let's go three. Here. Two. Go. Lift and kick. Push that heel to the sky. Heel to the sky. Heel to the sky. Keep it going. The core is braced. You are pushing the ground away like the plank. Now, I'm in the Hoppa crew right now. So I know you guys have been watching the alignment lab, haven't you? And you've been listening to all the cues of a plank. Spoiler alert, <laughs> the plank cue or the push-up cue should be in everything that you do, okay? You should have that brace belly, those ribs that are engaged, the lifted pelvic floor, the inner thighs turned on all the time. Five, four, three, two, one. Other side, don't even get up. Just move the weight to the other side. Move the weight to the other side. If this is too easy, three, two, one, go. If this is too easy, speed it up and lessen the range of motion. I'm doing that now. Huh. I'm staying in the fire, <coughs> shortening the time between concentric and eccentric. Loaded muscle, I built muscle endurance the longer I stay in the fire. When you load and unload, you take a break, and that's training something else. But the more you can stay engaged, you're building muscle endurance. Keep going, you're halfway there. Flex your foot, squeeze the weight hard, pull the heel into the butt, keep the knee pointed straight down. Great work, you guys. Come on, 10, nine, keep going. Yes, you can. That hamstring should be talking to you. Three. Two, one, get up right away, get up, get up. You know we gotta go. Grab that weight. I like to have this kind of a grip with my palms up under the weight, I almost knocked over my drink. Set the feet wide of the hips. Sink to the left, push the butt back. Rise, sink to the right, butt back. Now let's go, come on, down, and down, and down, and down. Mind that your knees don't pass your toes. Be careful, look at your toes. Do you see them? Shoot the butt further back. The only way you can accomplish this is by a really strong core. Brace that belly, flatten the belly, flatten the belly. Now, if your low back starts to hurt, come up a little higher. If you can, biggest range of motion. This time, you don't have to go hella fast, but I want you to go as low as you can go. Stay safe in the knee, do not hyperextend. Stay safe in the knee, sister and brother. Come on, five. You can do it three, two, one. Right back to the beginning, get on down there. If you have a loop, carry, grab your loop. Loop up your legs and put the weight in. We start in three, two, one. I'm gonna show you how that looks. Here we go, I'm looped and banded. Holy S word, you guys. Oh yeah, yeah. Shaking like a leaf in fall. Oh my God, I'm a kindergarten mom, I have the stupidest jokes. Come on. Now change the work. Listen. Press, pulse, release. Press, pulse, release. Press, pulse, release. Press, pulse, release. I see you on the floor, Cam. Press, pulse, release. Sorry that you guys always get the angle of my butt. We gotta work on that for next time. Keep it going. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Breathe. Three, two, one. Switch it, don't even get up. Switch the weight to the other side. Ha, huh. we're halfway through block two. We've got six blocks. Ready, go, push, up and down. The first few are the regular way so that you get your range of motion, so that you get everything right, okay? Now, I'm checking myself out in the mirror. I am dogging it. I could push my knee up level to my hip, can you? I just saw that I wasn't doing it. Let's go, press, pulse, release. Press, pulse, release. Press, pulse, release. Good gracious, keep it moving. I see you, Zena, I see you. I see you, Lori. 
It's not true, I can't see you, but I believe that I can see you. Keep going, up, 10 seconds. Press, pulse, <clears throat> release. Press, pulse. Oh my gosh. Push away the doubt, the fear, the anxiety, the ceiling that's holding you down. Push it away with your heel right now. Three, two, one, breathe. Take a breath. <sighs> Get it ready, stand up. If you're banned to take the band off, we start in five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Now, if that grip on your weight wasn't working for you, hold it up like I'm holding it right now, okay? Sometimes that helps you with your posture, and here's why. If you were holding it like I was holding it, sometimes people curl into that weight and they bar barrel their back. Not happening here, guys. Keep the scapula, the shoulder blades retracted back behind you. Now, come to the right side and hold. Hold, pulse, 10. Nine, eight, somebody say ouch. Six, five, four, three, two, other side, come on, four, hold. Fix your posture, pulse, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, push through the heel. Three, two, come on, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, for the last two, and one. You get a break. Block two is done. Block three is going to have us on our back. We're gonna work into our arms. I use tens for this, but you might want like seven or five pounds or just the band. Lay down on your back while you listen. It will be like tricep kickbacks, but across your body. The moving arm will come toward the stable shoulder. That was not 20 seconds already. No way, pause. Okay, hold on. <laughs> down this way, yeah? And then we'll flip over for chaturanga push-ups, and then we'll do the other side. Are you ready? Let us go. Grab the weight that you're gonna use. I'm actually gonna use 10. I don't know what I said I was gonna use. Arm up to the sky. Place your left arm up. Your right arm is in the crook of your tricep. The weight comes down toward the right shoulder, and then straight back up. The palm is facing away from you. Ready, go. I think I might skip something. We got both sides and we got the rocker. Okay. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna come check on the form of the people I can see. Okay? Here I come to check on you guys. Y'all down here on the floor, I wanna show you. Have, you can't really see, have the right hand inside the left arm curl. Palm is facing away and we come straight down and then straight back up and we don't wibble. This is not facing overhead, it's over chest, okay? So y'all, make sure that weight is not coming in for your face. Make sure that weight is coming in across for your shoulder. Take a peek at the camera real quick. I don't want the angle to be like this. This is not good. Flatten it out so the palm faces away all the time. There I see your, yes, thank you for changing your camera. Push your hand into your elbow. Three, two, one, pause. Pause, flip over onto your belly right now, right now. Chaturanga push-ups. Arms are along your ribs, along your ribs. Push the elbows back for your toes. Pick up your hips though. Come on, one minute. Well, 50 seconds, 50 seconds. Your arms are not way out here, guys. The arms are in here. Make 90 degrees and come back up. 90 degrees and come back up. That should make your chest work for it too. If you could shift forward a little bit, I promise if you shift forward a little bit, you'll be in better alignment, all of us. Pick up your chin, Casey. There you go, mama. Long neck, everybody. Long neck, look at where the sweat would drip off of your nose. So you're not looking back for your toes. Those triceps should almost wanna punch you. Come on, let's go. Down and up, 10 seconds. Work, now hold that middle ground and pulse. Five, four, three, two, push up one. Ah, lay it down, roll over, other side. Right hand is holding the weight. Left hand is in your elbow crease. We go in three, two, one, go. Up and down, up and down. Now you know how to do this. So while we're here, I'm just gonna talk to you about the band. You stick with what you're doing, okay? If all you have is a band at home, you can do this with a band, okay? But it's just the opposite motion. So your arm, your holding arm would be on the ground, your moving arm would be pulling straight that band. And it looks like this, if you guys can see it. Okay, so I don't wanna hear the excuse of you don't have anything. Even if all you have is a towel and it doesn't move, you can hold that tension and then release it. There's always a way to find pushing and pulling at home, even if you don't have weights, okay? Keep 
Going for 10, I'll join you. Nine. Push the whole back into the ground, please. Push the belly button through the spine, please. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Guess what, other side right away. Just shift the weight to the other hand. Shift the weight to the other hand. Don't even get up, we start in two. One, go! Yikes, it's the second round that gets us every time, you guys. Second round gets us every time. Now, because the left hand is holding that weight, please hold that left hand at 90 degrees. And pulse for 10, nine, slow down, eight, seven, three inches, five, four, three, two, full range of motion after this one, go. Down, straight, up, oh my God, whoa. Come on, we're almost there. 20 seconds to go, 20 seconds to go. If you need to take some time under tension away, meaning if you need a break, you're modifying. But if you could stay in it, you're building the endurance of your muscle, how long it can perform. Three, two, one. Holy geez, flip it over, tricep push-ups. Tricep push-ups. Now, if you wanted to make this even harder, Come off the ground. Oh, can I do it today? Up and down, up and down. Come on. Yo, jeez. I only have five of those in me. Can you do them? Let's see about you guys. Come on, my floor friends. Down, get off the ground. Up, holy word. Up, oh. Come on, try it, Teasy. Try to get off the ground. Put your knees down and try to get up off the ground. Yeah, I saw it. Do it again. I saw it, come on, try again. Yes, yes, yeah! Come on, did you get off the ground? Come on, Tasha, get up off the ground, baby. Push up. You're halfway there. Full range of motion. Come on. Last two like this. Now hold the middle ground. Don't you give up on me, Libby. Hold the middle ground. Push, pulse, 10, nine, eight, seven, Zena, six, count. Good, you're done. Oh my God, roll over. We've got one more tricep to really annihilate. So get that weight in your hand. Right hand holds the weight, we go. Am I right? Yeah, come on. I like to end with my right hand because it's stronger than my left hand. And so <laughs> it's a mind game for myself, okay? If that works for you, let it work for you too. For me, ending on my strong side means it's a little less struggle which means I feel a little bit more successful. It's completely up to you. One of my very good friends, Julie Quinn, yesterday she was talking about in her yoga practice that she was leading people through. You have 17 seconds left. <clears throat> she was talking about wanting to remember the hard times because then she feels like a badass because each of those hard times she's made it through. Just like you, you've made it through those hard times. So dig in, two, one, let it go. Wow. Okay, your triceps are done. Am I right? <laughs> like in life, are they done? They should feel done. Here's your next break and we're moving on to this. Your curtsy and press. So you're gonna want one weight. How many weights are you gonna want? Hold it up. You're gonna want one weight, okay? It's gonna look like this. This side, you're just gonna do a press. You stop at 90 degrees and you press it straight up and it comes straight back down. The side that's stable into the ground holds the weight. Here's your starting position, okay? Five, four, three, two, one, stand up, point your toe, press the weight. Curtsy down, hold the arm at 90. Press in, push and point. Sit, cross, curtsy. Press, push, point. Sit, cross, curtsy. Press, push, point. Sit, cross, curtsy. If you feel that you, just like that, to 90 degrees with the arm. If you feel like you're leaning one way or the other, I want you to hold the bottom of your curtsy. Everybody, for just a moment. Squeeze your inner thighs, lengthen your spine, pull the shoulder blades back. Now go, shot. Good, come back down. Push it up and out. Come back down. Push it up and out. Come back down. I swear I feel like a cheerleader sometimes when I do this. You gotta go. <coughs> 10 seconds. Shoulders, huh? Shoulders. Five, four, long spine. Three, two, one. Let it go, breathe. Get it on the other side. You know you have another side. I know, Casey, right? <sighs> Three, start in position two. Go. Sha. Come hold. Get it right. Now let's go. Sha. Flatten the belly. Lengthen the spine. Keep a long neck. A proud heart. Your heart rate should be rising. 
I can hear you, Zoomers. Is your heart rate rising? Give me an answer. <laughs> She's like, girl, I can't even talk. Stop it now. <sighs> Halfway there. Keep going. I want you to keep going. In the future, when you do this one again, you'll know that the weights are too light if your lat is not involved. Your lat, latissimus dorsi, should be helping push that weight up. Stopping at 90 degrees, not collapsing down. The lat stops and pushes. Three, two, one, stop. Huh. Hamstring, what does that say? Oh, hammer curl. Hammer curl to a traditional curl. Back and forth. That's it, let's go. One arm. How many arms right now? One arm. One arm. Full curl, hammer curl. Now that does not mean swing to get it up. Keep moving, if all you have is a weight, that's all right. You can hook it to anything and curl back against it, okay? Or you can hold it down, or you can be here. And you can curl up against the band. This band is too heavy, the tension is too heavy for me to be able to do it like this, okay? Come on, curl. You're more than halfway there. That bicep should be tiring. Libby, with light weights, I see you doubled up. Smart girl. Uh, what's another way that you can change the work? You can speed it up. If all you have is a three pounder, you could be going much quicker. Three, two, one, stop. Back to the beginning, get the curtsy in the right hand, or whichever hand, I don't know what you're using. Get the curtsy in the hand that you use first. Find your starting position. Pulse with me for a minute. Pulse, flatten the belly. Honor the curve of the low back. Now we go, down to rise. Let's do it. What degree, here's your quiz for the day. In a press, your elbow should stop at what degree? 90. I love you, good answer, 90 degrees. Does anybody for bonus points know why? No rest. One, no rest, I'm under tension. Also, when you let the weight come down here, your lat gives up. So you're disengaging one of the secondary muscle groups of this. Now listen, keep moving. If when you go, I'm gonna turn sideways. If the weight's coming along your ear, I need you to move it forward some. So you can see it in your peripheral vision. Okay, three, two, one, stop. Other side, good answer you. Here we are, <sighs> starting position. Ha, ah, we gotta work, go. Oh wait, come back and pulse, pulse, my bad. Two, one, go. Ha. So we've talked about where the elbow stops. It can say, you could say parallel to the floor, but here's another part of that. If you're coming in, that's no longer 90 degrees. Even though your triceps start, stopped at the right spot, get the wrist over the elbow. Zoomers, I said it like this. If your wrist is over your shoulder, wrong. Wrist over, shoulder, wrist over elbow, correct, okay? Keep moving. Intensify this by speed or effort in some way. Come on. Wait, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> yes. Intensify for five. Come on. Three, oh, two, one. <laughs> I'm just following you. After I stopped you, went over there. I went the wrong way. Oh, gosh. Come on, tricep. Oh. I mean, hammer curl and regular curl. Let's go. Curl it up. Let it down. Curl it up, let it down. You want to double up with these? Nope. <laughs> up and down. Or I can always change one of those for you. We have Bowflex adjustable weights. I did curls this morning. Oh. <laughs> we have Bowflex adjustable weights, y'all. So there's always a negotiation between us of like, who's going to have what weight. <laughs> okay. Solidify your base. I know I was walking around. That was poor demonstrating. Split stance if you want it. You got 20 seconds to go. Solidify your base, stop wobbling, stop moving. I did it too, I know, it's a distraction technique, you guys. When we do that, it's usually because we need a distraction, we need an escape hatch. You don't get one of those in quarantine or in a workout. <laughs> Come on, three, two, one, ah! Whoa, whoa, you get a rest now. Holy heaven, block five, that means there's only five and six to go. Block five is mountain climbers and then a row. So if you have two weights, I need you to have those next to you. Let me have that one. And you're gonna go like this. One, two, three, four, and a row. Sorry. One, two, three, four, five, and a row. I lied, that's for you. Sorry. Okay? Get into your mountain climber position. 
three, two, one, go. Five, four, three, two, one, left hand, row. Again, left hand, five, four, three, two, one, left hand, row. Five, four, three, two, one, left hand, row. Okay, if the weight is too light, your arm's gonna wanna fly. You're gonna have to focus. If you don't have weights, instead of a row, turn into side plank. I want you on the same side every time, okay? If your weight is too heavy, drop your knees. If all you have is 10, but 10 feels too heavy, drop your knees, okay? But keep going, so it'll be five, four, three, two, one, pull. Keep going, five, four, three, two, one, pull. 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 Breath, rest, rest. Roll that weight to the other side if all you have is one weight. We start in five, four, three, same thing. Two, one, go. Five, four, three, two, one, set, pull, drop. Five, four, three, two, one, set, pull, drop. Five, four, three, two, one, set, pull, drop. Come on, you guys. My floor crew, let's go. Five, four, three, two, one, set, pull, drop. Five, four, three, two, one, set, pull, drop. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Let me look in on you. Look at your nose, or put, point your nose to the mat. Look at your nose. Don't do that. Point your nose to the mat. You know you're almost there. No, no, no stopping. Come on, come on, I see you. Five, four, three, two, one, pull. You only have seven seconds. Get two more, pull. Five, four, three, two, one, set, pull, done. Oh, what's next? I don't even remember. Okay, lay on your back, grab the weight, push the weight to the ceiling, crisscross the legs, go. Across, 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 across. It's called a weighted scissor. Peel your head, neck, and shoulder blades off the ground. Lori, point, flex your feet. Flex your feet, sister, there it is. Flex your feet. Yeah! Look at, oh my gosh, you have long toes. <laughs> Now, when you're pushing that weight, everybody peek at the screen. Not pointing towards your knees, pointing to the sky. Look up, lower the legs more. Get those legs just above the ground. Get those legs just above the ground. And how high can you sit up? Push the weight to the sky. Now the legs move up, and then they move down. And then they move up, and then they move down. Come on, y'all. Three, two, one, reach up to get out of this. There you go, roll it over. Let's go, left side is working. Five, four, three, two, one, pull. In three, two, one, go. Five, four, three, two, one, set, pull, drop. 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 Five, four, three, two, one. Set, pull, drop. Five, four, three, two, one. Set, pull, drop. Five, four, three, two, one. Set, pull, drop. Listen, hold the pull. Hold the pull. Hold it. Pulse. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold it. <clears throat> Weight goes down. Switch the weight to the other side. Come on, y'all. Man, my sweat just started falling. Are you sweating? Three, two, one, go. Five, four, three, two, one, set, pull, drop. Five, four, three, two, one, set, pull, drop. Five, four, three, two, one, set, pull, drop. Do not rush the pull. Don't rush the pull. Look. Pull, squeeze, let it go, okay? Two, one. Pull, squeeze, let it go. And when I say drop, you already know I don't mean drop the weight. I mean lower it gently toward the ground, right? Awesome, good, I see lots of corrections out there. Five, four, three, two, one, set. Pull, drop. Five, four, three, two, one, set. Pull, drop, you okay? Three, two, one, let it go. Let it go. Roll it over, grab the weight, push the weight to the sky. Weighted scissors, we start in three, 
two, one. Now, you guys, look, Montel has a back fin. You guys go. So look, everybody, we're going to modify like this. The weight is to the sky, head and neck is lifted. The heel is just going to tap the ground and come back. The heel is going to tap the ground and come back. Prenatal, postpartum, back issue, come here. Then if it feels okay, a long leg might reach. We exhale as we tap the ground. If none of that is working for you today, you don't have to do anything that doesn't feel good. You can hold tabletop and you can pulse the sky instead. Okay? But if you are not modifying, you are crisscrossing and that weight is coming up to the sky. Lengthen the spine. Do not fall victim to the hurried breath. Point, flex your toes. Thank you. Three, two, one, rest. Oh my God. You made it through block five. Block six is all core. Aren't you excited? You get a 20 second rest. Let me tell you what's gonna happen. It's gonna be weighted Russian twist, okay? But because we get two rounds through, we're gonna only twist to one side the first time, okay? So it'll be weighted Russian twist, then it'll be up for hip dips that look like this, and then it'll be V-ups that look like this, okay? Grab your weight, weighted Russian twist to one side only. Three, two, one, go. Exhale, in, or I'm sorry, inhale on the twist, exhale, bring it home. Inhale, long spine, exhale, bring it home. Slow down, slow down, try not, maybe don't use a weight, because your back's hurting. Well, my feet are on the floor, it's fine. You're okay. Inhale on the twist, exhale, bring it home. Inhale on the twist, exhale, bring it home. Now we're halfway home, we're gonna change the breath rounds, okay? Now listen, exhale on the twist, inhale, bring it home. Exhale on the twist, inhale, bring it home. You've changed your breath. It's a micro change, but it should shift the way the work lands on you by just a little bit, okay? The internal pressure of your body cavity, of your core cavity, <clears throat> changes based on your inhale, exhale, or if you're holding. Two, last one, get the last one in there. Awesome, come on to your side. Forearm can be down, or you can be all the way up in side plank. It's a hip dip. We start in three, two, one. The hip kisses the ground, and then you exhale it back. Here you don't have a choice. Here you must inhale down. You must inhale down. Inhale to extend that muscle as long as it will go, internal and external obliques. Other muscles are working too. The inhale to drop your hip down. The exhale to squeeze you back to neutral. Don't bow up and over. Just come right back to a flat spine. Good, good change, I see ya. Good work, y'all. You must inhale down and exhale up. Now squeeze the shoulder blades behind your back. Open your chest, shine your heart, lengthen your neck. Just like in yoga, same cues, right? Yoga as in life. Yoga as in life. Ha. Huh. Come on, inhale, exhale, inhale, Exhale, the last five. Yes, you can. I know your tricep is shaking, so put your forearm down if you need to. Sit down, breathe. Huh. Same side, lay down, bring the legs in front of you 45 degrees. Top arm reaches for the side ankle. Bottom arm points towards your toes. Go, lift, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. This is not a race. You should not be jerking. You should be gliding through the magma. Somebody said the word magma the other day and I died laughing. I don't even know why. It reminded me of Austin Powers. Keep going. Squeeze the inner thighs together. If you had a ball in between your legs, could you squeeze that ball? There you go. Because we're not in bar, even though a lot of my bar ladies showed up, I want you to not point your toes, but instead please flex your feet. Yeah, squeeze the ball between the inner thighs. You're almost home, come on. How much time? Five, four, three, two, one. Back to the beginning, get your weight, Russian twist to the other side. Come on. I know I designed this 50 seconds of work, 10 of rest to give you very little rest. Let's go. Down and up. I don't care which breath pattern you choose first. Pick one and stick with it for half, I'll let you know when we change. Look at my back, look at my body. We're not rounding into it. The longest spine you can have. Twisting at the mid back. As you get tired on me, you're gonna start to try to hug your weight. Please lengthen the back. Nobody wants a herniated L4, L5, nobody. If the weight is too much, drop it and extend the arm. I'm gonna turn sideways this way so you can see what I'm talking about. Just extend one arm back and look at the thumb. 
If the weight is too much, we drop the weight and we change the angle of attack. Change your breath pattern. Change your breath pattern. Or you can have both hands, okay? Keep going, ignore my chicken talks. Three, two, one, good. Other side hip dips, right now, right now. This is it, you guys. Get up there. Inhale down, exhale up. Now, if you are a warrior of, of all the things, here's how you make it harder. Okay, can everyone see my body alignment? Good. Here's how you make it harder. One leg is down. I mean, yeah, one leg is down. I'm going to also say one leg is up. Again, how to regress or make it easier. Come down to your forearm. How to make it harder. Lift one leg. How to do it right. Think like standing, extend the mountain pose in the whole body. Inner thighs are activated. Pelvic floor is activated. Lats. Steps, everything, everybody, all the way, all the time. I was so messed out of really like a lot of things, right? Yes, you can. Five, four, get it up to neutral. Three, two, one. V ups. Hey, this is your last exercise. Everybody, high five the camera. Yes. Your last exercise. Three. Fingers point to your toes. Go. Lift. Exhale. Last one. Okay, because it's the last one I'm gonna get in your face as I always do. Come here, Facebook, I'm gonna take you with me. Come here, come here. Keep going, you keep going. Listen up. Hey, Facebook, there's Zoom. Zoom, there's Facebook. Listen, we are still in this together. Casey, get that weight to your ankles. Look at your ankles and go. There it is, squeeze the inner thighs together. Squeeze the inner thighs, sorry. There, yes, mama, flex your feet. Flex your feet, Libby. There you go. Hey, we're in this together. There is no escape hatch. We're gonna do what's right. We're gonna stay in it. We're gonna stay in the work. We're gonna stay in the quarantine. We're gonna stay in positivity. We're gonna stay in our families. We're gonna stay in life. Cause we don't need another choice. No escape hatch, we don't need it. We were built to do this. We are made for more. We are conquerors. We are winners. We are doers. Three, two, one, stop. Whew. Hey, high five, Facebook high five, Zoom. Zoom high five to Facebook. Here's my floor crew. High five each other, there you go. All right, listen up, Chuck. That was phenomenal. Um, if you don't have weights and you want to do this or you, you just wanna know how you can modify it, reach out to me, okay? I can show you all the things from pillow cushions to towels. It's so good to see old faces that I've been meaning to hug for months. Um, and I thank you for riding with me. As you always know, the donations go to Hoppa to keep the studio pumping until we can open the doors for us all again. What else do you wanna know? Stretch, stretch, I'm gonna stretch right now, but if you need to pop off, pop off. Here we go, moving into the stretch section. Y'all ready? I'm gonna bring this camera down here now. All right, sitting in Baddha Konasana, butterfly feet together. You worked your inner thighs, <laughs> didn't you? Did you work your, I worked my inner thighs, I hope you worked yours. All right, Baddha Konasana, sit tall. Let the fingertips come around the shin bones. Rock side to side. Let your inhales stretch your side body like they just did. As you rock right, you're stretching your left oblique and vice versa. And you don't need to be in a hurry, not at all, okay? Now, from a neutral body kanasana, slip out that left leg, bring the right sole of the foot to the inside of the inner thigh. Sit as tall as you can, both sits bones on the ground, push down against yourself, I don't care where, just not on a joint. Push down to get higher. Now walk yourself into a twist. If your left leg is long, your right hand comes to the left pinky. Yeah, good, left leg is long, right hand on the left pinky. If you cannot reach your toes, so what? Go for your quadricep. If you cannot reach your quadricep, or you can, but not your toes, then your calf. Breathe. Now you see, you guys on these cameras can see my back muscles are activated, right? Let them go and round your back and pull and get some traction to stretch your shoulder. Breathe into the space underneath your scapula. So there are spaces and there are masses. The mass is this big old muscle. The space is underneath it, or the mass is my scapula, the bone. The space are the little muscles underneath I'm trying to give breath to. Inhale, rise. That long left leg comes over top, double pigeon or log burning or whatever you wanna call it. If this is not accessible to you, then your stretch is figure four. All you're doing is getting your IT band. In the curtsy, we worked your glute med, that outer butt, right? Everything out back in there. So enjoy your outer booty stretch, <laughs> however you need to. Rise, back to Baddha Konasana butterfly. This time instead of side to side, dive forward. Whoa, good day, good morning. 
Inhale, rise and slide that right leg out. Left foot is to the inner part of the right foot. We push against ourselves or the floor to get taller. Left hand reaches to the right pinky, long spine. So look, if you're doing this number, guys, check out the camera. If you're doing this number, here's the side version. Then stop trying to get your toes and just use your quadricep. And then the back hand behind you supports to push you up, okay? And then you can make it a different stretch to lean down over your knee. Progression, regression. I know in English we let those sound like failure or victory and they're not, right? Now hook that hand and you see the activated muscles, let it go round and breathe into the space underneath the shoulder blade. In between the shoulder blade and the spine, let the head hang heavy, breathe. Those presses, you're trying to undo what you did. Okay, inhale, let it go. Now listen, wide angle stretch, big, wide, long, wide open legs, just for a second, and then bring to easy seated cross-legged position. And all you're gonna do is a tricep stretch. So swing them and then lift them, drop the right, left hand to the right shoulder, push the right shoulder into the left hand. Push into the hand, pull the shoulder blades down. Now you can lean sideways. There you go, good work. Push that head back into your hands, guys. Try not to make apple juice with the apple under your chin. Just hold it lightly, hold that apple. All the way up, all the way over. First, you push the hand into the shoulder blade. You pull the shoulder blade into healthy position, then you lean over. There you are, look at you go. Last stretch coming up. Hands point toward your bum bum, sitting down big broad angle. It's for your chest, you did a lot of stuff for your chest. The hands are pointing towards your bum bum. Shoot, push your hips away, bend your elbows back and let the humerus, the point of this bone right here, come forward and breathe gently. Now, if you have shoulder issues, I'm looking at someone in particular, I need you to be very careful about the depth you go. I am, I've got a lot of flexibility, I can come all the way to here. And I feel that through all the muscles around my shoulder, but it's still safe. I'm gonna go show my floor crew. So Mattel's doing a good I job for mid-range, huh? Oh, okay, <laughs> he stopped recording that one, cool. Okay, one more big breath, let it be, just breathe. Push into the heel of the hands to rise, shake it out, get a little closer. Everybody easy seated cross-legged position, we're just gonna do a 10 second meditative close out, okay? Inhale as tall as you can go, blink the eyes closed. Inhale a little deeper and hold full, stay as full as you possibly can. Open your mouth, let it go. Stay empty, stay empty at the bottom. With vigor and joy, inhale. More air, more air, more air, more. Hold, five, four, three, two, lion's breath, go. There's nothing more like enjoyable for me on a Friday, on any day, but any morning, but anything, like then spending time with you all. So thanks so much for hanging tough even through this digital and virtual era. I love you, I appreciate you. I hope to hug you soon. In the meantime, drop a comment about what you wanna see next week. This one happened because someone was like, uh, I wanna use my weights. So if you want something, let me know. Call me, text me, email, Courier Pigeon. My address is 5359, no, just kidding. I love you. Until next time, have a great day, guys.